Hi, I'm Lana with Red Ice. It's true, you just can't argue with a leftist. All the evidence on the planet won't be enough because they live in an... <coughs> I'm not sure why it's so choppy, by the way. It's been doing that. Oh, whatever. Universe. Liberals are very bad at debating because they never do it. Because they only talk to other self-affirming, emotional-stroking liberals and have had zero opposition to challenge them. They are caught with their pants down at the most basic questions. But people like myself are very comfortable arguing with opponents. We've had a lot of practice to sharpen our arguments and we don't- How did you get a lot of practice if liberals never argue? Right. You said liberals never engage in debate, but now you're saying that you're well accustomed to debate because you debate all the time. Were you debating other conservatives? You know, <laughs> it's like, hey, I, I think that uh, <clears throat> I think we need to have a 99 percent white neighborhood. No, I think 98 is OK. All right. We don't crumble when people call us bad words. We deal with outrageous, never seen before censorship, banning, discrimination, defamation, and we're still here. Wow. As we yeah, toughen up, courageous. they become even weaker. Here are questions liberals cannot answer. One, right. gotta start with this one. If you're so pro mass non European immigration, why do you live in a white neighborhood? They may say, well, this town has plenty of diversity. Yeah, down there, not where you live, up here. Why aren't you living in an immigrant refugee part of town? Two. Because I'm not an immigrant refugee. I mean, my neighborhood is not a white neighborhood. It's a neighborhood that is predominantly white. I live in a predominantly white area. Um... I mean, like, first of all, I'm not even like, yeah, mass immigration to this country. Bring them all in. Just open borders. Let it let them flood on in. I'm not against uh, I'm not against immigrants. I don't really have a problem with foreigners. In fact, I kind of like being around people who don't speak English when it's like I'm at a restaurant or something and the people behind me are speaking Spanish at least I don't have to listen to their insipid conversation. At least instead of like, and so I told Debbie, like, oh my God, you cannot wear that. And she was like, I don't have to listen to that. I can just listen to people. I, yeah, all right, whatever. I can just drown that out as background radiation. So, um, yeah, I really don't have a huge problem with foreigners, but. I mean, I'm not going to go out of my way to go live in a fucking YouTube videos are more choppy recently. It was found ISPs are throttling YouTube and Netflix now with net neutrality dead. Oh, cool. Rock on. Sounds great. Awesome. Mm. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, I'm like, I'm not going to go out of my way to live in a fucking minority neighborhood. I mean, you could ask this question to my uncle who lives in a predominantly black neighborhood and who is a huge liberal. I mean, he could just say, well, I don't. I live in a black neighborhood. What now? <laughs> uh, it just seems like a silly question. It's like, you know, if I'm in favor of uh, people having the right to chop their dicks off or something, like I'm just I'm going to take a libertarian stance. If someone wants to chop their dick off, they should be able to chop their dick off. Not because they're transgender or anything like that. They just want to take a meat cleaver to their dick just for fun. Like, it's like saying, okay, I'm not against that. I'm not against them having the right to do that. So therefore, why haven't I chopped my dick off? Huh? I mean, just because I'm not like overtly against something doesn't mean I have to go engage in it myself. But, you know, I don't really give a shit where I live. As long as the area that I live in, like, I don't care what color my fucking neighbors are. As long as they're not trying to break into my house or some shit, I don't care. Our last neighborhood, most of our it was Asian. neighbors were Asian. We were living in a fucking Asian neighborhood. Yeah. I didn't give a shit. I wasn't like, oh, no, these Asians. No, they were fine. Too many fucking slanty eyeballs around. I don't feel comfortable. No, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if my neighbors are black, Asian... A fucking uh, Middle Eastern, whatever. As long as the only thing I care about is and annoying. I don't care. Yeah, as long the only thing I care about is do they mind their own fucking business? Do they allow me to mind my own fucking business? Yeah, if that's the case, I don't give a shit. 
What percentage of America can be white? 60%, 40, 15, 2%? At what point is it acceptable? Three. At what point is it acceptable? It's acceptable at any point. I don't give a shit. It always has been. (laughs) I don't care what. America's 90% white. All right. America's 30% white. All right. America's 50% white. All right. White people are extinct. All right. All other people are extinct. All right. I don't care. I don't really give a shit. I don't give a shit about what color people are. You know, as long as we live in a society that respects freedom and individuality and we're not fucking, you know, murdering each other in the streets and shit, I don't care. I don't care what fucking color anybody is. Why are you so obsessed? TJ is one of the greatest minds of our age. Don't let him being retarded fool you. He's always on point. That's very true. <laughs> very true, sir. I love At what that. point is it okay to have a border and immigration laws for? What- at, any, at whatever point the American people and their duly elected representatives decide that that's the case. Right? If people want a border, which we have, by the way, they can have a fucking border. If the people of this country, you, uh, if the majority of people in this country say, you know what, we don't like the border, let them in. It's open borders time. Then that's also the will of the people. That's, that's what this country is founded on. The prerogative of, you know, democracy. And it's not a direct democracy. It's a representative democracy working in the framework of a republic. But the idea is, if I want open borders and that's my agenda, I find a candidate that says, open up them fucking borders and I give them my vote. And if you don't want that, you go and you vote for the candidate that says, fuck no, we need closed borders. And maybe there's other people who vote for a candidate that's like, you know, uh, we need some border security, but we don't want to go too crazy. Whatever. And everyone votes. And at the end of the day, the fucking people who voted for the person with whatever idea wins, wins. I mean, what's wrong with that? What's the problem? What percentage of the population do whites have to be before it's morally acceptable for them to be proud of their ancestors, their heritage? At what point can they... I mean, plenty of people are proud of their fucking heritage. What do you mean? I mean, have you ever met a fuck... I mean, like, Chelsea, you grew up around Italians, right? Yeah. Were they, didn't they just have a constant, nonstop boner about their Italianness? Yeah. Yeah. Italians love being Italian. They jerk themselves off. Man, Italians, we the fucking greatest people. Ah! And Jewish people, too. Jews. Jews think they're the greatest shit. They're like, I'm Jewish. Those hey, are both. Did you know they're I'm white. Jewish? <laughs> they're white. Italians are white. Jews are white. Fucking <laughs> Spanish people are white. English people are white. German people are white. There's tons of fucking people who are proud of their fucking heritage that are white. They just don't say, I'm proud to be white. They say, I'm proud to be Italian or I'm proud to be, you know, Swedish or whatever the fuck. I mean, from my perspective, having pride in like your pedigree is just stupid. Have pride in your own fucking accomplishments. You being Italian is not a fucking achievement. Just like you being black is not a fucking achievement. You being gay, that's not even a racial thing, but you being gay is not an achievement. I like sucking dick. That's not an achievement. I sucked a hundred dicks last night. That's a fucking achievement. Be proud of what you have done, not genetic fucking happenstance. You had nothing to do with that. That's not something you fucking chose or did. It's not something that required skill or guile, or intelligence, or anything else. Advocate for their people with unions, orgs, and lobbyists, just like every other group. Five, when is it okay for a white guy to say, I am a proud, straight, white male? Uh, it's it's, fine. Yeah, who's stopping him? Who's fucking stopping him? A white guy, who's a straight white dude could go out and be like, I'm proud to be a straight white male. What's going to happen to him? Someone might disagree. It's about the worst that's going to happen. Someone might say, well, fuck you. I don't like straight white males. You don't think that happened to someone who's like, I'm proud to be a trans black woman. 
You're ridiculous. You're absurd. Yeah, you, everyone has the right to be proud. Everyone has the right to look at other people being proud and say, well, you're fucking stupid and I don't like you. You shouldn't be proud. You suck. Everyone has the right to have their pride. Everyone has their fucking right to heckle. Seems fair to me. When is it okay for them to be loud and proud? Six, what is so wrong when European women want to have white children who look like them? Instead of, ooh, your mixed race baby is so cute. How about, ooh, your little blonde blue eyed baby is so adorable and unique. Oh my, yeah, no one, no one has ever complimented a woman on a blonde haired blue eyed baby before. Society would collapse. Surely society would collapse. TJ? What alternate fucking reality is this bitch from? You and I were both blonde haired, yeah, blue eyed. Yeah, I was a blonde haired, blue eyed kid. Guess what? Motherfuckers ask fawned over me. Ask our mothers. Yeah, ask my mom. Ask me. I remember it. Everybody I remember the thought. pinched cheeks. Oh yep. my God, he's so adorable. Luckily, I grew up into an ugly fuck and no one cares anymore. Right. But when I was a little kid, yeah, people would fucking come up with my mom all the time. Oh my God, your child is so beautiful. My mom put me in those little toddler beauty contests. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My mom didn't go that far. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Eek. Seven. For legal immigration alone, one million plus a year come to America. That's like importing a large city every- Sorry, what's the question? How many non-European people need to be in the country before it's okay to say that's enough? Once again, you can say that's enough. Plenty of people say that's enough. You, the president of the United States is a guy who says that's enough. People voted for him because he said that's enough. There's plenty of mainstream politicians who say that's enough. You act like this immigration issue has been pushed into the fucking underground. It hasn't. This is a very active issue being actively discussed within the framework of our fucking democracy right now. The fucking head honcho of the country is on your side. How long are you going to act like you're being persecuted? Uh, do you find it scary that conservatives in the U.S. are moving farther and farther to the right? We're approaching on ethno-state territory. This is what they've always believed. This is what they've always believed. This is not new. This is not latest, the late-breaking development. This is just conservatives realizing it's time to be honest. It's time to say, fuck the social mores and conventions that have held us back up to this point. We're just going to be honest and upfront. And if Trump, you can credit Trump with anything, I think you can credit him with that. Every year, how many non-European people need to be in the country before it's okay to say that's enough? It is okay. It's already okay. Eight. You already are saying it. You liberals no claim to be you. environmentalists, and yet you are not aware of the horrible environmental consequences of mass migration, not to mention the problem of limited resources and an overburdened physical infrastructure. I mean, that's a planet-wide problem. Those people are still going to do their polluting elsewhere on the planet. <laughs> this is it's all a big interconnected system. It's not like America has its own environment that's separate from the rest of the fucking planet. I agree with you, but it's not mass migration that's the problem there. It's overpopulation. There are too many fucking humans. Way too many. We need less. I'm a proud sexist, racist, misogynist Bernie bro. Calling me Winky Winkle is anti-Semitic, though. Take my money, you whore. Cool. All right. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, it used to be common knowledge among you. But we have so much and we weigh so much. So the solution is to import the entire third world so they too can have and waste much and enjoy a first world lifestyle. There used to be a time not long ago when lefties complained about overpopulation. When yeah, white people I were having did. babies, that is. But now they love huge populations of non-Europeans making no, eight. I don't. We don't. I don't. No, wrong. I don't want large populations of any of you. All right? I want this planet's population cut at least in half. I want Thanos to show up with the Infinity Gauntlet and go, that's what I want. And in fact, I could say we could go more than half. I would say like, let's go back to like one third to one fifth, like that territory. Yeah, I don't like people. I don't like human beings. I don't like 
black ones. I don't like white ones. I don't like Asian ones. I don't like Indian ones. I guess Indians are Asians, whatever. I don't care what skin tone these motherfucking human beings are. I don't want them. There's too goddamn many of them. All right? I'm not to say, I don't, I'm not hoping for the extinction of the human race or anything. I just want us to have a population where we can actually live in something resembling equilibrium with our fucking environment. That's what I want. Eight kids each. So, Libs, you A OK with Muhammad up in Minnesota and his eight wives and 25 kids living off of welfare paid for no. by mostly. He's not allowed to have eight wives in America. There's nowhere in this country where polygamy is legal. Hey, white people, give them all your money then. Stay out. I don't want anyone having 20 fucking kids. I don't want white people doing it. I don't want black people doing it. <laughs> I don't want any of them doing it. Like, okay, get down with my misanthropy, bitch. Okay? Out of mine. Nine. Speaking of refugees, did you know there are people getting rich off the importing fake refugee business? Ten. According to international law, oh, refugee. I thought we were gonna. I thought you were gonna explain that. No. Nope. No. Just did you know that? I guess no, I didn't. I didn't. No. You told you. You learned me. These are supposed to go to the country nearest to them. So why isn't Israel and rich Gulf countries taking in any refugees? Why must they be flown at our expense way to Sweden, Australia, and North America? Eleven. About. I don't know. I would assume because those countries closer to them don't want them. Right? This woman and conservatives in general like to act like they're the smart ones and they don't get offended like leftists. The truth says otherwise. I don't even know what the fucking truth is anymore. All those refugees, do you even know how many are actually fleeing from catastrophic conditions and not just their own poverty? Like, this much. Uh, no. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> what is that? Like, that's much. Like, unit of measurement is that? <laughs> that's much. That much. Out of what? Like <laughs> Out of this much? <laughs> and, like, what are you talking about? No, uh, tons of people. Yeah, a lot of them are fleeing poverty, but a lot of times it's poverty created by war. And usually their wars created by, who was it again? Us? Mm. Maybe? <laughs> we might have had something to do with the wars that displaced them. I don't know. Not always, but usually, yeah. I mean, come on, all those Mexicans seeking asylum. My white sister lives in Mexico. Plenty of... Sp My white sister lives in Mexico. Oh, yeah, all of Mexico looks like that. That's, my, that's typical <laughs> Mexico town, yep. Uh, all right. Base and options there. White liberals will say, well, it's okay if people are fleeing poverty. I mean, usually Mexicans are not presented as refugees. Sometimes they're called economic refugees. But they're not formally refugees. They're just immigrants. We're not talking. I thought we we're talking about like Somalians and shit here when we're talking about refugees. Didn't Bernie Sanders debate Ted Cruz and rip apart his ideology just after the presidential election? And Bill Maher has conservatives on his show all the time. What the hell is this woman talking about? She's I mean, she's obviously full of shit. I mean, she's totally crazy. And by the way. I was thinking that this was going to maybe like venture into a few different ideological realms, but instead it's pretty fucking razor focused on immigration. Poverty, we have to give them a chance at a better life to become surgeons, inventors, and rocket scientists in European nations. Says who? Are you saying they can't do it without white people? That they need us to succeed? Well, what's wrong with their people? That's supremacist. Oh, yeah. You really what? turned that around on us. I don't think, I mean, like, I've never heard a single person ever say, we need to let Juan Menendez over here from Mexico because we think he stands a real solid chance of being a rocket scientist. You know? <laughs> Usually he's over here to pick fruit or something. I think we all know that. I don't think anyone's holding out hope that he's going to be the next neurosurgeon. If he is, good for him and good for us. But I don't think anyone's holding him to that fucking standard, all right? I think we're holding him to the standard of he's going to come pick fruit. Can he do that in his own country? Yeah, but not for the same amount of money. Not for the same amount of money. Because what's chicken shit money over here picking fruit is fucking awesome money over there for picking fruit. Sorry. This is what, that's how it goes. By the way, enjoy your uh, cheap produce. 12. You want to help people? Why don't you go help them in their country? But you all never care to help European nations when they're in need. What? 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 
when, um, when did you see me helping any nation? <laughs> I don't even help my own. I mean, fuck you. I don't, I mean, like, yeah. Uh, by the way, I have actually helped other nations. I did a charity, yeah. <laughs> I did a fundraiser for uh, Wells in Africa. And Nice. I did uh, a Nice fundraiser after the big attacks there. I did a fundraiser for women in third world countries, like Saudi Arabia. So I have actually done that. But I guess, I mean, I guess you mean you want me to like physically go there and help them, which I'm not going to do that. No, no. Why is that? Or are you saying they're never in need? And why is that? 13. To all those. Good news, everybody. I've just been told by someone in the chat that an asteroid is about to hit the earth. I'm going to continue doing this video until that happens. But I just want to let you know it's finally over. Fuck. Filthy rich celebrities making anti-white trash films. Why aren't you taking in any refugees into your house surrounded by a wall and an oh upscale God. gated community? 14. Who made you the... I mean, like... Because that's you, my home. If you want to ask that to J.K. Rowling, go ahead. But for most people, that doesn't apply. That doesn't apply to me. I don't have fucking room in here for a bunch of refugees. And once again, I don't care about refugees to the extent where I'm going to fucking be like, yeah, I'm going to take one in. Like, there's different levels of passion about ideas. Just because I don't fucking openly despise refugees doesn't mean I want to fucking have one as my pet. Okay? <laughs> the morality police. Judging on your self-righteous high horse pretending to be God Sorry, saying what, what is that? morally right and wrong. I will answer that one for you. No one. You have oh, zero moral authority. Remember, boys and girls, there is nothing wrong with Europeans loving and preferring European people and stopping the wave of mass immigration and fake refugees into their country. No other people would put up with this. And if your parents never... I mean, lots of people have. Uh, all of these arguments can basically be dissolved down to, if you like ice cream so much, why don't you marry it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. I think told right. you, it is okay, more than okay. It is wonderful to be white every moment of every day. And if that's all you got going for you, wow. like how empty is your fucking existence? It's wonderful God to damn, be white. God damn, it feels so good to be white. Wake up every morning and I thank Jesus that I'm white. It's all right. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, let me tell you, like, you know how much time I spend each day thinking about my whiteness? Like, death might. Like, that <laughs> death might. Talking about my whiteness, you guys. And I'm whiter than you, bitch. I out-white you. Probably genetically, too. I'm purer. Don't hear it otherwise. Don't tell the purer. Is that it? Are we done? Yes. Oh, that was awful. Wow, that was wretchedly bad, dude. Think white Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Wow. That was that was something else. It's, wait, no, there's more. What is all this? What is it what does it go on to do? Dispel the Europhobes. Oh yeah. What do we do about censorship and deplatforming? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, in a time when ver no. Alright, no. No, thank you. No, 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 no. No, thank you, guy with that haircut. I'm good. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Turns out the asteroid was just Paul's ass. Ah, damn it. Damn it. I was hoping it'd be something else. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to consider supporting this channel and all of the Pessimist Productions channels on the Pessimist Productions Patreon. You make everything that we do from the Deep Fat Fried podcast to this show here to the Cinema for Cynics channel. You make all of it possible, and we thank you kindly.